not exactly sure what the story is with this old farm other than the fact that I know they're getting ready to probably tear it down it's for sale right now which is actually the reason I was looking at it but we'll take a look around see what we can see see if there's anything interesting see if it's worth buying for somebody or if it's just going to become another part of history When I first moved out here, this was actually an operating farm. It's a shame because that's been less than 20 years ago. So to see some of this in the condition that it is, is it's kind of sad. There's a lot of to recover around here still. It's a shame all this is probably going to go to waste and just be tore down. But some developer will turn it into McMansions or whatever they want to do. Kind of a shame when you think about it. It's got a lot of potential still. Still smells like horse stalls back here. Like I said, it wasn't that long ago that this was an operating farm. There's a loft up above me, but I'm not exactly sure how to get up there. So, if I can figure that out, you'll get to see that here shortly. Very old school electrical boxes in here. Nice to know that a lot of the wires that I've run into do not have any power going to them kind of reassuring. I think I'm out of luck trying to get up to that loft area so I will just extend the camera up as far as I possibly can and give you a look. Here we go. Look at the other 
side. It's just another outbuilding on the property. Not exactly sure what a building like this would be used for, but it's clear that you could pull a vehicle in here. And then maybe all this stuff on the side over here was used for storage of some type of, I don't know, crops or just stuff that you would put on whatever vehicle it is you pulled in here. So. Just pretty cool old building. Again, a lot of old wood that unfortunately will probably just go to waste. It would appear that down on that part of the property there's a little pond that's kind of hidden. It's actually right along the road, but it's hidden because of all the growth up around it. It's kind of interesting. Nice little secluded spot to hang out on a summer afternoon. In so many ways these old abandoned farms like this just make me sad because I grew up going to my grandparents farm and the entire lifestyle means a lot to me so anytime I see something like this where I know it's not going to be around much longer Just hurts my heart in a way, to be honest with you. Let's take a look at the farmhouse itself real quick. For some reason they've piled up a ton of dirt right next to the house. So to be honest with you, I don't know how close I'm gonna be able to get. Or if I really feel like crawling through all that to get to the house, consider it, but it's all boarded up. So, we'll see. Let's take a look around. To be honest, with these bushes and everything growing up this close to the house, it's hard to get a good enough standoff to get any decent video. So, let's move around to the back side and see if we can do any better over there. Well, kind of as I've already told you. I guess this is one way to keep people from going into an old house. Pile of rocks and dirt close enough to it that you can't even access any of the entranceways. So, anyhow, they're all boarded up anyway. So, I don't think there's anything we could see to begin with. But, considering the state of the house alone, I guess unless you were willing to completely rebuild a single habitation on this property, the old homestead itself is clearly seen its last days. So get one last look here. Because all of this beautiful land will very soon probably be just another subdivision. And to me, that's about as depressing as it gets. I'll see you on the next video.